this is the end, the final video of the Union playthrough on Legendary Difficulty. And thank you for watching my series all the way to the end. Uh, the big thing about this uh, playthrough is 1 million, over 1, just barely over 1 million casualties inflicted on the enemy. So I knew it was going to be close. I was thinking uh, about Antietam. I was thinking, I'm getting much higher casualties inflicted than I did on Major General. So, and that was a campaign where a lot of losses were inflicted on the enemy. But it, as I was going on, I was thinking, this is going to be close to a million. And it was very close to a million. I thought I was going to have to go back and play the campaign again uh, because it was going to be just short, and it was just over a million casualties. So, yeah, with medicine, um, almost 7 to 1. Without medicine, 5.5 to 1 kill ratio. So I was very, very happy with the campaign. I was very happy with the way it turned out. My reflections are on the campaign that Legendary is the most fun way to play. It Major General is the most balanced, and it was the most immersive for me at the time. Maybe it won't feel that way now, but Legendary was definitely the most fun. I like the aggression of the enemy. Uh, I like the size of the enemy army. Uh, I like the way he fights really hard, and I really like the uh, weapons drops that the enemy has. Um, I got used to the fact that his skirmishers were OP. I just got used to it. Uh, that was a bit of a bit of a rude awakening uh, early on, one of the early battles, when he just charged into one of my infantry units and routed it, and it was just a skirmisher unit. It should never have happened. Um, but once you develop a healthy respect for, his, for those units, then, you know, you just figure out how to deal with them. So, yeah, his artillery hits hard. You have to stay in cover. Um, it goes back to basics. I think on Legendary, more than any other difficulty, you have to make sure that your commander is right there giving a morale buff because every time he hits you, it's going to hurt. I think you have to adjust to the fact you're just going to take uh, more losses on Legendary. It's just the nature of playing on Legendary. And in this campaign, I had the, the benefit of going into the 80s in... Uh, I thought I was going to hit 90. I thought, uh, I was hoping I'd get a, uh, you know, if you get the general, the trainer who's a, who's a general, uh, you get plus 20. And I was hoping I was going to get to 100, 100 training. I just thought that'd be cool. So, yeah, but uh, the other thing I really like is not only does the enemy give you very good weapons and a whole bunch of them, but you get a ton of money. Um, armory went up very high, so I got a bunch of Fayettevilles, and they're just piles of cash. So, yeah, the, the trick for the Union, if you're going to play the Union, invest early and often in weapons, particularly artillery. Uh, the 20-pound parrots are a beast. By all the 24-pound howitzers, almost every division I had throughout all five, four corps, almost every uh, division through my first four corps had a 24-pound howitzer uh, battery. Um, that is absolutely incredibly powerful. And then you start building all of the 20-pound parrots you can, and you just build a monster, monster artillery force. And um, the, e even though the enemy has all good weapons and all three stars, uh, you can just concentrate so much firepower at any point on the battlefield, uh, you're going to win. And I think this is just the most fun way to play. And I encourage everybody to give Legendary a try. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, and good luck in your campaign. I hope you inflict a million casualties too. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, let me know your experience playing on Legendary. And uh, yeah, looking forward to, I'm sure that uh, Ultimate Admiral is also going to be a ball. So I know a lot of people are going to play that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next campaign.